Hello everyone, welcome to another Symfony tutorial. Today we're going to talk about menu item maintenance. Let's start by adding a menu item. I'm going to sign in and begin a table. And here in our breakfast section we have a regular breakfast buffet for $22, but we also need to add a kids buffet for $12. To do this, we're going to go in EMC. We can find menu item maintenance at all levels in Symfony. Enterprise level, property level, revenue center, and even the zone. Our menu items are configured at the enterprise level. Under the configuration tab, menu item maintenance. When we open the menu item maintenance tab, we notice that no menu items populate. In order to do so, we need to click the search key. The easiest way to add a menu item is by using another menu item as a template. Now, this menu item should behave very similar or the same to the menu item that we're adding. Since we're adding a kid's buffet, we're going to look for the regular breakfast buffet. You can use the search function to locate it by using the binoculars at the top of the screen or by using Control F. Select the field as the name and just search for buffet. The search has found the breakfast buffet here at the bottom. So we're going to highlight it and then click the insert key at the top. From the drop down, we're going to select to add a new menu item using a template. The template to copy is going to be our regular breakfast buffet. Then we'll give it a name. Next, we'll take a look at the record number. We would want to keep the record number to stay within the same menu item block as our previous breakfast entrees. So if we take a look at now, the computer will select position 2017, which is somewhere here on the bottom inside the side section. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my kids buffet at position 1998, which will be just above my breakfast buffet. Doing this, you will keep your database organized. Next, we'll enter the price. Our kids buffet costs $12. And then we'll click OK. Our menu item has been added successfully and we do not need to add a new one. So I'm just going to click no. Now we have our kids buffet. Let's take a look in the definition record to make sure everything is programmed correctly. This menu item has a food menu item class and it appears under the breakfast screen lookup, which is perfect. Next, we'll take a look at the price. We can see that it costs $12, which again is what we want. So let's take a look at the workstation and see if everything was programmed correctly. I'm going to click a quick update, sign in, pick up my check. And here we go. We see our kids buffet next to our regular breakfast buffet. We'll enter position two and it costs $12, which is perfect. Next, let's take a look at removing a menu item from the screen. There are two ways of programming menu items. One is using screen lookups like I am, and the second way is using hard-coded keys. If you are removing a menu item that uses a screen lookup, you can remove it from the menu item section in EMC. If you are removing a hard-coded key, you can use page design to do so. So let's go back to EMC and see how we do that. We need to remove the mini waffles. So first, we have to find them in the list. We can find them here at position 1008. We can go to the definition record. Now, there are multiple ways to make this menu item unavailable. One, we can remove the screen lookup from here by clicking the ellipses and then selecting none. So now the mini waffles will not appear on the slew. Another way of making the menu item unavailable is by going to the main level and unchecking all the levels where this item is available. You can do the same for the sub level. Now, as you can see, my menu item is highlighted in yellow. That means it's pending a save. So I'm going to go click the save key now. 
So let's go back to the client and see if that worked. I'm going to click a quick update, then sign in, open my check. And in the breakfast screen, we can see the mini waffles are gone. It is very important to note when switching menu items not to change the name from one to another. Imagine you have daily specials. If you're trying to remove one special and add another one, don't just change the name of the menu item as this will cause havoc in reporting. What you need to do is you need to add the new special and make the old one unavailable. Next, let's take a look at changing a price. We want to change the price of our breakfast buffet to be $24. So let's jump into EMC and see how we do that. The first thing we need to do is find our menu item. If we remember correctly, our breakfast buffet was here at the bottom of the list. Next, we will go to the price record section and change the price from $22 to $24 and then save. Now let's see if that worked. I'm going to click a quick update, sign in, begin a new table for one guest, go to the breakfast section and ring in a breakfast buffet for position one. As we can see, our price now is $24, which is what we needed. If you are interested in more Symfony tutorials, we have created an entire course where you can learn everything you need to maintain your Oracle Micros POS system. And as a special thank you, I also included a coupon code for you. You can find all the details in the description below. Leave a like if you found this helpful and thanks for watching.